In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export a vector graphic from Inkscape, ready for use in Blender, to make a 3D object that can be used in HitFilm Pro. The first thing you'll need to do is get a copy of Inkscape. This is a free, open source, professional vector graphics editor for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Head over to Inkscape.org for more information, download, and install the program. Okay, before we start, this is not a tutorial on how to fully use Inkscape, but I will show you how to prepare and save your vector graphics as an SVG for use in Blender to turn a vector graphics into a 3D mesh object and export that 3D object for use in HitFilm. Okay, here we are in Inkscape. Uh, when you open up the program, this is what it should look like. It's pretty bare bones. Uh, first thing you want to do when you're in here, I'm just going to show you how to set this up so you, it's easy to use. You want to go to uh, File, Document Properties, and make sure that Show Page Border is on. Okay, that's this uh, border right here. Okay, make sure that uh, to Show Page Borders. Okay? So, without getting too deep into, into what uh, vector graphics are, here, I'm going to show, we want to do one more thing before I get, get crazy. Uh, you want to go to Layers and turn on Layers. That's going to open up a window over here in the corner, and it'll show you uh, the layers. Right now, we just have one layer. If you're not familiar with vector graphics, you can use several layers, just like in Photoshop. Or Adobe Illustrator is a better example to build uh, to build vector graphics from many different little pieces. Okay, basically. So this is the page setup. So I already have a vector graphic set up that I'm just going to bring in and show you how to prepare it for use in Blender. So let me just go up here. I'm going to open up. I call this a Space Force Master. Actually, I'll tell you what. Yeah, Space Force Master is the one I'll open. Okay, so here is the uh, vector graphic I made. Now, every time you uh, load something, you have to reload the menus. It's just kind of the way it is. Okay, now you can see I have layers. Let me uh, set up the document. File, Document Properties, Show Page Border. Okay. And you can see the page is, uh, you know, 210 by 297 millimeters. Pretty small page. Okay, so here I have my vector graphics. Now, uh, if you click on uh, individual graphics that I've made, you can see, uh, you know, Rocket Ship uh, over here in the Layers panel. Open this up so you can see here a little bit. Layers, panels, stars, text, inner and outer ring. So if I go here, here's the outer ring, the inner ring, here's the rocket, here's the text. You can see it's all one deal. And the stars I have on individual, okay, individual right now. So the first thing, in order for vector graphics to work in Blender properly, Everything needs to be a combined, and every layer needs to be combined, okay, as one path. You can't have individual layers. You have to have one layer. So, first thing here with these stars, you'll see every one of them is individual. Uh, plus and minus key on your keyboard to zoom in just for grins, just so you know. Here's the document, border of the document. Here is uh, my vector graphics. So first thing I want to do is select all the stars. Holding the shift key, going around, I want to select all these stars. Okay, and I want to combine them into a path, single path. So we'll go up here to uh, path, combine. Okay, and what that's going to do is turn... It, if you see this binding box around here, now all the stars are just one layer. They are not individual. Uh, if you, but you notice I still have layers over here. So you, what you got, you just draw a binding box and you can see all the layers I have. 
one, two, three, four, five layers. Okay. Now we want to take all of these layers and combine them into one path so that, uh, so it's just one image. So what I did, just take your mouse, hold down your mouse, left mouse button, drag it over the uh, vector graphics, highlight all your layers. Go back here to path, combine. Now what I did was it, we still have our layers, but if you notice now I just have one bounding box, okay? And it combined all my graphics into one layer. So now we want to bring it into Blender. But if I leave it at this size, when I bring it into Blender, it's going to be super small. So what you want to do is after you create your vector graphics, drag the graphics to the upper left-hand corner of the page. Okay. What we're doing is uh, when we do this, you'll bring the vector graphic in on the world origin center in Blender. Then you won't have to do any, you know, any scaling or moving or, or aligning objects. It'll just come in. It'll be right in the middle. Okay, so it's still pretty small. Okay, it's a 180 millimeters uh, roughly image. What well, we want this thing to be huge so that it covers at least uh, four parsecs in Blender, uh, four grid parsecs in Blender. That way it's, you know, reasonably sized coming in and we don't have to scale it up in Blender and, and uh, you know, make the image stretch. So with it in the upper left-hand corner, what you can do, you can, you can scale it up up here if you want, okay? Uh, if you scale up width and height, let's do something like 800, okay? We'll do 800 here. Uh, zoom keys to zoom in and out, okay? Now let's grab your uh, vector image and pull it back down and kind of center it, center it on that uh, uh, upper left-hand corner of the document, okay? So with that done, all you have to do is file, save as a, a plain SVG file, and I am going to name it uh, let me see, I probably already have it here somewhere. Hit Film Space Force. Made me a little Space Force logo. So I'm just going to overwrite this. Okay, save. Yes. Okay. So with that, we're leaving Inkscape and we're heading to Blender. All right, before we get started in Blender, you are going to need a add-on tool and you can get that uh, from spider hank over at uh, ownmycgi.net it's called uh, hit film tools version 0 0.02 and it looks like he wants uh, seven bucks for it well worth the money well worth the money this is gonna this is just perfect for hit film Okay, so you need to download that and install it as an add-on and activate it in Blender. Go to my user preferences real quick. Add-ons. Uh, let's do just type hit film. And uh, here we are right here. It's I'm using version 01, uh, but your version 2 will work even much better. Also, you'll need to make sure the add-on for the SVGs is enabled. Just type SVG up here. And uh, make sure that the uh, import scalable vector graphics add-on is active. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, I just have a typical Blender setup. I have no camera, no lights. So let's import that uh, graphic, scalable vector graphic. It's called a hip film, Space Force. 
Uh, I'm going to hit the 7 key so we can look right straight down on it. Now, you remember in Inkscape, we set that uh, uh, image in the top left-hand corner of the page of the document so that it would fit in the origin center of Blender. And by golly, I think I got her right in the center. Okay, so this is just your, your uh, graphics. Uh, you just want to select it, okay? And uh, you'll get a new set of menus over here. And there's a curve menu. You just click on your curves menu here. And uh, here, I'll tell you what. Let's add a material. Let's just change the diffuse color so we can see the thing besides being black. Go back to curves. Okay. Uh, two options here. Uh, the way this looks is how the model would, would look in. Uh, the face would be solid. The letters are punched out. Okay, same with the center, same with the rocket. If you do uh, 3D, uh, what happens is just the edges are a mesh and not the uh, uh, face. Okay, so this would be transparent. But we're going to do a solid face for now. I'm going to hit the uh, three key, number 3 key on the number pad. Take a right view of it. Go down here to extrude, okay, and I'm going to extrude it maybe like uh, 0.09. All right, so that extruded the model, or extruded the graphics, okay, up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to put a bevel on it. So go over here under geometry, by the way, uh, under this curves, uh, was the extrude. Uh, and then the depth of the bevel, I think I'll put it at like, three okay so you can see we got a little bit of a edge a bevel going on there okay let's go back to top view here i'll tell you what number three to go to the right view again i'm going to rotate it by hitting r x 90 okay so we just stood the model up and just rotated it straight up <clears throat> so we when it comes into hit film it'll be standing up instead of laying down okay so let's turn it right now you can see this is a, just a path uh, let's turn this into a uh, 3d mesh by just selecting the uh, object hitting alt c and select mesh from curves okay now the uh, curves have turned into a mesh Okay, so I didn't see any change, but that's what happened. So with Frank's tool called HitFilm Mesh Tool, now we're going to uh, just prepare this for, uh, we're just going to prepare this model for export to HitFilm. First, first I'm just going to put a UV map on it here real quick. So uh, just select the object, hit Tab A. U, and I'm going to do a smart UV. Click OK. And there's a UV. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the, my other screen, just default. Uh, hit the tab to escape out of that. Now I want to prepare this to for hit film. So Frank's little tool here, where he's got a couple buttons. I'm not going to explain them all, but it's called the HitFilm Mesh Tool. It's in the Tool tab by just hitting T. I'm using version Blender 2.79 still, so make this easy. Just T to bring up this uh, sidebar menu and look for uh, B to hit B to H, basically Blender to HitFilm. Uh, select, go up here and select by mesh. We're just going to select just going to select to make sure just the mesh is selected okay and we should let's see let's see if we unify the normals okay we can just unify the normals okay so there we go it's all we have to do the model is now ready to export to hip film so let's go over here film or file excuse me export hit film object 
over here sidebar over here here's the settings for the export to hit film object just select everything except for export to other 3d apps if you're going to export it somewhere else uncheck hit film check this app okay but for hit film we're just going to do this uh, you can see I've done this a couple times, so I'm not going to save over my file. Uh, so you just export, you know, export, save it to where you need. And uh, then we get to bring it into HitFilm and, and turn that thing into an awesome 3D title logo. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little bit. Pay attention for the next video. Be out in about 24 hours. Have a great day.